a lot this game when I wanted to, and um, that's just what I try to do. Uh, coach said, you know, they switch a lot, and, uh, and uh, you know, we just talked about that, you know, being aggressive when they switch and getting downhill and trying to make a play for uh, your, yourself or a teammate. And how would you explain the offensive struggles in the early going? Uh, I just think in the beginning, we uh, really got off to a slow start. Um, we really didn't. We just kind of had a couple little turnovers. And uh, I think once we got settled in, I thought we started to click on, uh, you know, all cylinders, you know, making open shots, you know, getting to the basket, getting layups, things of that nature. So uh, I just thought, you know, like Coach said, we got to start off games better. And uh, I think, you know, going into the next game, that's what we're going to focus on, you know, when we get hit in the mouth, you know, keep. You take the first punch and keep fighting back, you know, not just getting hit and hitting them. It's down 10 0, trying to come back. Um, so I think, uh, I think we'll be fine. You know, I think we're mentally tough, you know, to come back. I felt like uh, a lot of the guys in the locker room had good, good energy. You know, we felt that uh, we could have won that game. And it was just little things that we, that guys we just bringing up speaking after Coach got done talking. And uh, I, I feel like I'm really confident, you know, for the next game. I feel like we're going to come in, even though we lost this one, with a, a good head on our shoulders. And second chance points seem to be a real key for them. Was there anything you guys could have done better in that area? Yeah, in the second half, they got those three offensive rebounds for threes. And um, that's a really uh, a point in the game. We kept tipping. They got got him in. Uh, then Gibson hit two and Harkless hit one. So that those were kind of big momentum shifts. Hey, Mark. It's all for me. Thanks. Yep. Thank you. Uh, next question to Kellis Robin from Ed. Hey, Mark. Sorry to ask again about the the start of this game, but that seems to be kind of a common thread for you guys. Start off down. 8-0 or whatever, it seems like it happens almost every every game. Is there just a common denominator between all these instances you can put your finger on? Uh, I really can't put my finger on it, but, you know, obviously as a team, uh, we've been talking about that, even uh, just working on little things like uh, practice, stretching, getting our energy right, uh, things of that nature. So when we uh, start the beginning of the game, we're ready to go. And uh, you're, you're right. We've definitely been uh, struggling in that part, but, I, you know, I feel like we're going to fix it soon. You know, I feel like we've had a couple games where we started off well, but we just got to be consistent in that starting the game off well. And, and just for you, when you look down your stat line, see 25 points, 16 rebounds, how much confidence does that give you going forward? Uh, you know, uh, like I've been saying, you know, I have a lot of, uh, I've been having a lot of confidence re recently, just, you know, playing my game, uh, just letting it come to me and uh, really just try to go grab all the rebounds. You know, that's what coach challenges me with. And, uh, that's what I try to do. Um, you know, obviously I feel confident shooting the ball and stuff like that. So uh, I'm just kind of just letting the game come to me and just, you know, just trying to enjoy it, just trying to learn and get better each and every time I step on the court. All right. Thanks, Mark. Uh, next question to Dylan Sherwood. Yeah, Mark, what, what, what did make, made you con take control of this game? Uh, you you guys were getting you were the only offense in the first half, but what made you want to step up with uh, Marquise uh, out of this game? Uh, I definitely think I can uh, step up. You know, even with Marquise here, you know, obviously he's a great player, but uh, I think I play well off those guys, Nigel and them. And uh, you know, like I said earlier, they were switching everything, and uh, you know, on the switches, we just thought we could get downhill and get in the the alley and the lane and make plays and. Uh, that's really what I uh, found success doing, you know, get into the basket. And that's what I kept trying to do. And if I was open for a three pointer, I feel like I can knock it down. So what was key? What was key in the in in the latter part of the second half when you guys started to make your comeback? You had a big three and then Ish hit one to, to tie it at 65. You guys were just hitting from three. What what was kind of big uh, in that second half? Like we was executing, you know, uh, getting downhill. Like I said earlier, we were getting downhill. And then when they all collapsed on us, we was making the right read and uh, passing it out. And uh, also when we actually, when we got the rebound, we were pushing it. And uh, I feel like we're a really good team in transition. So, um, and we got a lot of transition threes and they was kind of scrambling and we got, um, we got open on them. So, and uh, they did a good job knocking them down. It's nice. And then I got I got one more. Uh, but do you feel you, you transferred in? Uh, do you feel like you're trying to get a more more leadership? Uh, you're tr 
trying to help these guys out uh, because I know this is your first time uh, playing in the Big 12? Yeah, this is uh, uh, obviously coming in for a new team, but I think the guys, you know, uh, they respect me. And uh, I feel like I'm a leader on the team. We have a lot of leaders, but uh, I feel like they listen to me and I kind of just try to just keep the energy high, uh, you know, just helping guys in little situations. Obviously, I've been in uh, three uh, different uh, Power Five conferences, so I've been in a lot of games and uh, I just try to uh, give them the knowledge and, you know, the experiences I've had, you know, and uh, obviously that's what I try to do. You know, obviously I'm just learning and uh but uh you know I just try to be a, a older guy you know a veteran and share my experience with them so you know if they get in those situations they know how to act you know a lot of guys come to ask me for help so I just kind of give them feedback when they ask me. thanks Mark no problem uh next question to Ryan Black Hey, uh, Mark, I was just kind of curious. When did you guys actually find out that Marquise, I guess, wasn't going to be able to play here tonight? Uh, I think I just – I didn't realize uh, one day uh, he wasn't at practice, and it just kind of slipped my mind. And uh, then, obviously, Coach, you know, we met before practice. and Because uh, I was wondering where he was at, because normally Keese is always in the gym getting shots up before um, – really hard worker in the weight room and I didn't see him so I went to and uh I went to my phone obviously everyone was already there no one was on our phone you know he was getting ready for practice but he texted the group chat you know that um he had COVID and that's kind of how really we found out coach Weber let us know as well so and then for you did you did you feel like that at all kind of just made you want to be more aggressive tonight knowing that, that you weren't going to be having him out here uh, you know, I, I really don't even look at it like, like that. You know, I try to be aggressive every game. You know, I just really just kind of let the game come to me. And, uh, you know, obviously Marquise is a great player to play off of. You know, uh, maybe uh, this time I had the ball a little bit more in my hands. But uh, really, uh, I feel like I play aggressive uh, every night. You know, whatever it is, if it's grabbing rebounds, playing defense, uh, that's what, what I try to do. Just try to get down here and make and make plays for my teammates. Okay, next question to Ryan Gilbert. Hey Mark, I know we've talked about Marquise here a little bit, but how much did his absence really just kind of change the dynamic of your guys' team tonight? Uh, you know, obviously, um, I feel like when Keith is uh, when we're with Keith, you know, obviously he really got comfortable before he sat out, and uh, you know, just. You know, getting us, uh, not getting us in offense, but, you know, just making plays, uh, another person out there making plays and can really score the ball as well. So, you know, when you play with a, uh, when you have a player like Keith go out and really shoot and really get to the basket and finish and is a great defender, you know, obviously that's a key part of our, our team, I would say. And, uh, but I feel like guys stepped up tonight and uh, when, when we get Keith back, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be great. Hopefully we get him back soon. Thank you, Mark. Anything else for Mark before I let him go? Okay. Thanks, Mark. Yep. Thank you, guys.